What is neuroinflammation in migraine pathophysiology? Imagine your brain as a busy city with roads and signals constantly moving. Sometimes, traffic gets jammed, causing pain and confusion. That's similar to what happens during a migraine. Neuroinflammation is a key part of this process. It involves the activation of immune responses within the nervous system, leading to inflammation in the brain and surrounding tissues. In migraines, the trigeminovascular system plays a big role. This system includes the trigeminal nerve, which is a major pathway for transmitting pain signals from the face and head to the brain. When this nerve is stimulated, it releases special signaling molecules called neuropeptides. One of the most important neuropeptides involved is called calcitonin gene-related peptide. This molecule causes blood vessels in the brain's protective layers, called meninges, to widen or dilate. This dilation triggers inflammation in the meninges, which is known as neurogenic inflammation. It's like the immune system is responding to an injury, even though there isn't an actual wound. This inflammation makes the nerve fibers more sensitive, so they send stronger pain signals. That's why migraines often come with throbbing pain and heightened sensitivity to light or sound. Repeated activation of this system can cause the pain pathways to become more sensitive over time. This is called sensitization. It means even small triggers, like bright lights or certain foods, can set off a migraine. Both outside the brain, called peripheral sensitization, and inside the brain, called central sensitization, contribute to the pain experience. Understanding neuroinflammation has led to new treatments. For example, medications that block calcitonin gene-related peptide can help prevent migraines by stopping this inflammatory process. These therapies target the core mechanisms of neuroinflammation, reducing the frequency and severity of attacks. So, in simple terms, neuroinflammation in migraines is like an immune response gone awry, causing blood vessel changes and nerve sensitivity. Recognizing this process helps doctors develop better ways to treat and manage migraines, giving relief to many who suffer from them.